Hi guys, welcome to BC Tigers Martial Arts Online Training. My name is Liam Harmit and today we are working on the combination push front kick, snap punch, reverse punch, roundhouse punch and reverse punch. Let's go guys! Right everybody, so today's combination is an intermediate combination, which means before you start this, make sure your body is fully warm, you are stretched up and you are ready to go and don't forget to cool down at the end of each session, okay? First thing I want you to do, go into your left fighting stance for me. Fantastic, we're going straight in, go straight in. We're going to use the front leg and we're going to use a push front kick. Now to remind you what a push front kick is, Leg comes up, we push forward in a straight line using the hips, and down. So the whole point of that push front kick is to move our opponent backwards. It's not really there to create damage or hurt our opponent, it is only to create distance, to move them away from us. Okay, ready, left fighting stand. We are going to do 10 on our left leg off the front, and then 10 on our right. Ready, and one. Now this doesn't have to be a high kick. I want you to actually aim for the midsection towards the stomach. Two, three, let's push those hips forward. Four, keeping the guard tight. Five, great work everyone. Six, breathing through every technique. Seven, eight, nine, Ten. Shh. Fantastic. Change into your right fighting stance. Into your right fighting stance. Brilliant. We're going to use the front leg again. One. Shh. Pushing those hips forward. Two. Shh. Keeping the hands tight. Three. Shh. Four. Shh. Five. Shh. Great work. Keep pushing. Six. We're going to increase the speed and we're going to start to bounce on our toes really to make it a little bit more real. Ready? And then in. Left fighting stance. To my count. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Well done. Change over. Same again. Ten from the right stance now. Ready? Bounce in. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Great work, everyone. Great work. Well done, everybody. So. The next stage is to keep adding one move on of the combination each time we go through. So, left fighting stance. We start with that push front kick again. As that leg drops, front arm, snap punch. So the point is, I've hit somebody in the stomach, I've thrown that kick, shh, bare hands have dropped ooh, to defend that shot, leaving that clean shot shh, straight in front. Okay, let's put those two moves together. So it's a push front kick, and snap punch front arm. Ready? One, two, three. You should land your foot as your punch lands. So the two work together, okay? Four, five, six. See the timing there? Very important. Seven, make sure yours is the same. Eight. Change over. Same again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep 
na kaut saic. Nai. Ten. Well done. Brilliant. And shake off. Great. So, next stage is after we've landed, front, uh, push front kick, snap punch, we add shh, reverse punch. So there's our next move of the combination. So it is push, one, two. Yeah, watch that again. Push front kick, shh, snap punch, reverse punch. Okay, good. Let's go for it, guys. Now, we're not gonna make you bounce yet. We're gonna bring it all together at the end. Nice and fast. Okay? Ready? And one. Shh, shh, shh. Two. Shh, shh, shh. Three. Shh, shh, shh. Four. Shh, shh, shh. Five. Shh, shh, shh. Six. Shh, shh, shh. Seven.
Snap punch, reverse punch, round X punch, reverse punch. Watch that again. Push front kick, snap punch, reverse punch, round X punch, reverse punch. Let's bring it all together now, guys. This is our five move intermediate combination. Let's get it nice and fluid. Let's make it flow nicely and it should be smooth and comfortable. Ready? Left fight to stance. One, push, snap punch, reverse punch, round X punch, reverse punch. Two, push, Excellent guys, so I've got a question for you before we go into the speed work to complete this combination. Now my question is, would that combination work? If you tried to use it against an opponent, would it work? Now the answer is yes, but there's certain things that you would have to do. Yeah, so the first thing that you would have to do is make sure that when you are doing your punches, that they are super quick. Because you've got to think, if you've been hit in the stomach, ugh, your hands have dropped, they're not going to stay there very long. They're only going to stay there for a short period of time. So as their legs, um, sorry, as their hands drop to their stomach, you've got to be super quick. You've got to be moving in, bang, 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 really quick with those four punches, which is what I want to see on your speed work. Okay, this is what I want you to practice on your speed work. The next thing is, the round ice punch is a close range technique. All the rest are long stretching techniques. The round ice punch is quite close range. Now, if you're hitting somebody in the stomach with a push kick that sends them back and you're punching, your legs are gonna be longer than your arms. So your punches aren't gonna reach. So what you have to do in reality is when you practice this one on pad work, when you practice with partners, or if you use it in sparring, is you must travel forward with your punches. For today, we're not gonna travel we're gonna stay still. Remember that round those punch, as I say, is a short range technique, so you have to slide just on that punch alone. But all of the punches, you should be traveling forward. You've gotta imagine your opponent's going back. But for today, when you're practicing, do it on the spot. But just know that if you wanted to apply this combination, you have to move forward. And part of moving up from that beginners to intermediate and intermediate to advanced is understanding understanding what everything is for. It's not just, oh, I could do these fancy kicks and punches, no. It's, how do I use it? What situation is that technique for? Okay? Great work, guys. Taking the knowledge, because it's just as important as the physical. Excellent. So, the knowledge is stuck into your head now. The next stage, as I said, is bringing it all together. Five moves while bent on our toes for speed. 10 on each stance to finish. Now, when you do this, it's a five move combination, yeah? When you use it in reality, we're traveling forward, as I've just said, 
for that you can do it on the spot. If you want to replay this video, and if it's the second time you're doing it, practice moving forward. Good. So let's do it on the spot first. Guard up, bounce on your toes. Five move combination, push front kick, snap punch, reverse punch, roundhouse punch, reverse punch. We're going to go for speed, guys. Speed. Do your very best to keep up. Okay? Ready? One. Keep practicing and bear words, keep yourself massive round of applause.